Yo, 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 Ziggy here. Now, let's go ahead and talk about supply drops and how all of a sudden, you know, I've been saying this shit for years, but all of a sudden, now people are starting to care. I know this white boy is trying to lead the charge about making COD great again by not having supply drops or, or making all the weapons available. I don't know. I really haven't followed, you know, all of it, but... And he's attacking Drifter for making videos about supply drops and stuff like that, even though he says he doesn't support it. Bottom line is this. It's all y'all's fault. See, I didn't spend money back in the day. The only thing I bought, which I guess kind of started the culture, was the map packs. It was an extension. That's how I looked at it. Now, whenever they started getting ridiculous with the whole, you know, get the map packs if you spend $200 and you come with the goggles and all that. I mean, I, I gotta admit, I mean, I looked at it, I found a receipt from Black Ops 2. I didn't realize I spent like 500 bucks. I bought it for the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, the PS4, and Xbox One. And one of those was the, you know, bullshit edition with, with something. You know, I forgot what it was. I think it was, I'm not sure if that was the Night Vision goggles or what. But I spent a lot of money on that shit. I looked at that receipt. I was like, holy shit. What the fuck? So, this is all our fault. If we spend money, you know, on these games and all the content. And they're just taking advantage of, of us naturally wanting to spend, I guess. I mean, it seems to be a, a culture thing. We just want to spend on bullshit. You know, a lot of people get mad about, you know, donations and, and all this other stuff. But the... The fact of the matter is there's people paying for or giving money for this shit. So we can hate all we want, but that's not going to change because unless all of us decide not to do something, I can tell you that I can actually pinpoint the exact moment where COD really got y'all. I didn't fall for this bullshit, but whenever they made that bacon camo and all this shit, all these YouTubers, I, I won't even say White Boy did it probably too, they all bought this bullshit and started making videos about how great bacon camo is i was making fun of that i actually wrapped bacon around a gun and made that shit i thought that was the dumbest thing in the world that somebody can spend money on of course everybody was like oh it's only two dollars it's only five dollars it's only two dollars here it's only two dollars there candy crush is only 99 cents and those motherfuckers made billions off of everybody so it doesn't matter if it's only two dollars or one dollar or ten cents y'all are buying it everybody's buying it unless everybody said nope that's a out that was the moment in my opinion where we all fucked up. If everybody would have just said hell no to the bacon camo, then I don't think supply drops would be a thing right now. At least not the COD points. It's one thing to have it to where you could, you know, earn it to where, you know, you're getting your, your regular points or whatever, your well, crypto keys, and then you're getting it. But then whenever you, the option to buy crypto keys came out, that's when everybody, Everybody got impatient, so it takes what, like three games to get ten, or four games to get ten, four wins actually, I should say, because I guess it's a difference between wins and losses. Four wins to get one little ten, you know, supply drop, and they got the rare 30, so you gotta play, you know, a good 12 games, or 12 wins, whatever, to get one, you know, rare supply drop, so you can have one rare item. Which to me is a big rip off anyways, you can get all the same shit in the regular common supply drops. But... Whenever the people were paying, they got impatient. Just play and you'll get all your shit. No, they got impatient. They they wanted that that new gun. They wanted that Marshall. They wanted that damn calling card, etc. They wanted that taunt. They wanted the nay nay. So they paid for it. And believe me, people are paying. I wrote an article on GI, GameLumina.com, by the way. Check it out in the description below. Where Grand Theft Auto V already made 500 million extra dollars on online GTA online that's all from those shark card or shark cards whatever the hell they're called people have been buying I remember when that came out everybody's like ha yeah right nobody's gonna buy that shit 500 million and in the article I showed that if Microsoft was happy about reporting the halos you know extra content sold like three million or some shit like that three million dollars worth and Grand Theft Auto is already a 500 million to date that's insane. And I can just imagine what Call of Duty is. Because, I mean, they got, you know, people buying shit probably daily. And that's why they're dropping these weapons and new camos. And we might make fun of the whole, you know, taunt, you know, little supply drops that they do every now and then. You know, oh, you know, 
you know, let's, you know, make him get it to where he gets you an extra camera or whatever. People are buying that shit. I bet you if, if GTA is at 400 million, I'm going to say Black Ops 3 is at least 100 million. At least. Minimum. And just looking at YouTube videos of the people doing supply drops, they're spending hundreds of dollars. I can tell you that right off the bat. And if that's just them, then you know all these other kids are doing the same shit. Begging their mom. That's probably their, their allowance at this point. I'll mow the grass if you buy me some cod points. <laughs> So it's our fault. It's all it's our fault. I mean you can't be mad. White boy, I'm sorry to say, but it's it's your fault. You were happy about baking camo. You were happy about all this shit. In fact, you have supply drop videos too. I mean it's 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 everybody's fault. It's that you know, I know you're mad about not getting weapons now, etc. Everybody's pissed off that you know Joe Blow didn't even spend a dollar and got a marshal, but you spent a hundred and you didn't. Hey, that, that's that, that happens, that's life. I play FanDuel, I get mad whenever I lose out by .01 points, you know, because some asshole missed a free throw. I, I'm, I'm not going to get, you know, I can't be too upset about it though. I'm the one that took the risk. I paid to try to win money and I didn't get shit back. You're paying to try to get a, a cheap, interactive, you know, gun, <laughs> pixelated gun. Buy a real gun. And you know, that's what's funny. For $100, you can actually buy a fucking old, you know, pistol. Looks just like some of these guns that, you, <laughs> that you're trying to get on this fucking COD game. Anyways, I thought, you know, I have a lot of videos coming out and I just wanted to touch up on this because I thought it was pretty funny. Everybody's mad about this shit. It's all your fault. Just don't buy this shit. Don't be spending, wasting your money on this crap bacon camo. That bacon camo fucked everybody up. I'll tell you that right now.